good morning guys happy monday it is a busy day around here i have been lagging on my workout this morning i need to hurry up and just get back to it and get it finished i woke up late because i was super tired i feel like every monday is just that day i wake up so tired but i've got my spark that i'm drinking it's got tons of vitamins and some caffeine in it and i sip on that while i work out to just give me that extra little energy boost but today is a hip shoulder day so we have jump squats lateral raises high knees dumbbell shoulder press mountain climbers and front raises so i need to get back to that before london wakes up because she is my most needy child and rightfully so she's only a year and a half but the other two are up just gotten them breakfast so I'm gonna get back to working out and we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm finally putting in my grocery order this morning. I was planning out the meals last night and a little bit today because I was busy editing a vlog yesterday that I didn't do my normal meal planning that I always do. But one of the biggest things I do as far as like grocery shopping to make sure I'm not getting a bunch of things I don't need is I plan out my meals and each meal has a carb, a protein, and a vegetable. And then I figure out what I have in the house that I need to make that recipe or that meal. And then whatever I don't have, I will put on my grocery list to shop for. And then from there, I do all the extra. So I do the household stuff like, do we need laundry detergent? Do we need garbage bags, vitamins, whatever those things are. And then any other extras like peanut butters, are we running low on that? Because we always try and keep at least two to three of everything as a back stock. With kids, the worst thing that can happen is you don't have back stock of something and they finish it or they want more and we're gone and then a whole bunch of chaos ensues. So putting that grocery list together, we're almost done. I just need to put a few more things on my list and then we're going to go on a walk once London wakes up, which it's almost 9.30, so I'm surprised that she's not up yet, but sometimes she likes to have a little bit of quiet time in the mornings before we get her out of bed. So she's probably just in there chilling in her crib. Um, and then after I walk, I think I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's because I love going there to get their fresh fruit because it's always such a good price. And they have really good little extra things like fun little healthy snacks that we love. Um, the kids love their little fruit lathers and they're super cheap. And I want to check out some different like deli meats or just meats that we can have throughout the day. So we're probably gonna do that later today, but for now, I'm gonna finish putting the grocery order together and then I'm going to get some breakfast. You know something that no one tells you about is that fish are actually extremely annoying to take care of. You think that having fish is like a good entry animal for your kid? No, no it's not. Because you as a mom end up feeding them twice a day and cleaning a very disgusting fish tank. My son won one of these goldfish last summer at the fairgrounds and so we got it a friend because fish I guess need friends. And I'm gonna out myself right here. This is how gross the fish bowl is right now. Let me show you. Their water is so dirty. There's the two fish. And this is supposed to be clear. That's how gross it is from like their food residue and their, you know, pooping. And this little thing runs water and it's gross. So we probably need to change that today.
outfit. I bought this Free People onesie back when I was pregnant with London and it was the most comfortable thing. So now it's a little bit big. I could probably use a size down, but it is still the most cozy, comfortable thing. So I, I've got this on with an Abercrombie bodysuit underneath. And then we've got good old Birkenstock Arizona sandals. And then I've paired it with a Made by Mary necklace. And then some other, got some Amazon earrings on, Shop Courtney rings, and my Apple Watch. And now we're headed out to go to Trader Joe's, hopefully. I've got a three-year-old toddler who is throwing an absolute fit. And the sun just came in here really bright, but let's go run to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. We got a few treats and I picked up these really pretty hydrangeas because those those are my dad's favorite flowers and they only had a few of them left and they are really pretty so I decided to get them but our grocery order is ready now so we're going to go to our normal grocery store and go pick that up and then we'll go home and unload it all. We are back now from the store. We've got our normal groceries, our Trader Joe's stuff. I would show you everything, but you know, it's all in back right now. So at least I'll show you guys the Trader Joe's stuff because I have to get one of those things in the freezer in the fridge. And then I think I'll show you guys as I'm putting away everything else. I was hungry, so I grabbed some white corn tortilla chips. Already started eating those. Got some deli meat, some ham for the hubby. Got some bananas, because I love putting those on top of smoothies. Got a bunch of these for the kids. These are like 49 cents. The kids love them. Got some of those. Also got some pineapple, some strawberries, because my kids can always count on them eating strawberries. As you guys know, my favorite protein bars. These two flavors are the best. The chocolate cookie dough and the cookies and cream barbell bars. So good. And then I got some creamy almond butter. Normally I get the unsalted, but I was feeling like a little salty vibes today, so I got salty. And the main thing I go there for outside of the protein bars is their frozen blueberries. I need to get these in the freezer so bad. But I love these ones in particular because the blueberries are really small. I know I've said it before, but when I make my blueberry bowls, this is the blueberries that I use to go in there. So now I'm going to get everything else unbagged and then I'll show you guys anything in particular in there otherwise it's just fruits vegetables and refilling the pantry okay so here's some of the things tortillas we got some chicken bacon for the kids some more bread my kids love waffles i've got this uh pepper onion blend for fajitas this week what else do we have we have some more rice and then i have some frozen asparagus but then i got some more frozen bananas and frozen strawberries to put in to make smoothie bowls. And then if we come into the fridge, we got some more eggs. I have rotisserie chicken. I make a really yummy like sandwich, also just spoon eating mix with rotisserie chicken. It's so good. Uh, there's our fruit, avocado, and we got some pickles because we're gonna have um, hamburger bowls today. We've got lettuce, this is the broccoli. We have some peppers too to just snack on with, where's our hummus? With some hummus. We've got apples. This is our cheese roll because the kids love cheese. And then we of course stocked up on the kids' favorite yogurt. The way I get them to eat healthier and have yogurt is we'll actually do yogurt with sprinkles. You know, you gotta compromise. We have cottage cheese. And I think that's really it. Oh, and then, you know, my dates back there that I love to have with peanut butter, almond butter. The rest of the stuff I got is pretty boring. It was just back stock, like black beans, refried beans, um, a bunch of crackers and snacks, like Cheez-Its for the kids, granola bars, food packets for London, chips. Wow, that lighting is awful. Um, rice cakes and things to snack on. So nothing else too exciting. 
But I need to finish getting, this is all my extra stuff I need to put in the freezer. So I'm gonna finish getting this stuff put away and then I think London is up for her nap. So we'll get her, feed her, and then see where the rest of the day takes us. Best kid hack if you want your kids to eat a little bit healthier, eat good options. This is what I like to do for Decker and Hudson. I will make them like almost a little charcuterie board. We have apples, pepperoni, crackers, cheese, put like fruits and other vegetables on there. But honestly, that's the combo that they really love. Um, now though, that I've got them all contained, Decker's also watching Bluey, I am going to get a little bit of editing finished up and hopefully be posting a vlog for you guys today. I just need to wrap up a few things, like double check it, make sure it sounds okay and flows okay. And then I'm going to get that posted. So I'm gonna go get some work done while everyone is situated. And then probably start prepping dinner shortly after that. Also, you guys are gonna probably notice in a lot of my vlogs, so I'm going to point out the elephant in the room. Yes, my bar stools are constantly on the counter. It's not very aesthetic. I don't like it very much, but London likes to climb on them now, and it's very dangerous for her because they're not the most kid-friendly stools. So that is why my stools are always on my counter, but now to work. just finished dinner I forgot to vlog the rest of dinner because my camera was dying and so I had to plug it in and then I forgot to unplug it and show you guys dinner once it was finished but we had yummy hamburger bowls it was my first time trying to do those it's essentially I get sounds it's everything that you would have on a burger but without the bun 
So we had lettuce, I chopped up some tomatoes, I chopped up sweet potatoes and put those in the air fryer. 400 for about 18-ish minutes, uh, just depending on how done you want them. But it turned out really good, I loved it. It was yummy. And Decker just had a basic hamburger and London had a bun with butter because that girl loves anything with butter on it. And sometimes you just need to get food in their system. But now we are winding down for the night. I'm going to get pajamas together, start getting everyone in the bath and ready for bed. <laughs> so we'll just end the vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed a little Monday day in the life of me and my kiddos. Mondays are a little crazy for us, but I'm going to go and get the kids pajamas ready for bed and their vitamins and all the things. But I will see you guys on the next vlog. Yeah.